Hey everyone, today's video is going to cover optical trocar entry into the abdominal cavity. Now this is a third option. Uh, we've already talked in a previous video that we'll link to about the varus needle technique as well as the Hassan technique for getting into the abdomen. This is a third option that can be used by itself or in conjunction with the varus needle. And we're gonna focus on it today, both to understand number one, how it works, but number two, how it can show us um, another angle of the abdominal wall anatomy, a pretty unique angle that should help us understand it and um, how it appears in real life as opposed to what you might expect based on the textbook. So let's go ahead and get started. So when we're talking about optical trocars, those are typically five millimeter trocars with the kind of sheath here being clear, um, as well as this kind of sharp end that allows you to go in through the abdominal wall that's also clear. So you can imagine you can place your laparoscope in through here and that's facing this way through this pointed end of the trocar insertion device. And that allows you to watch yourself as you kind of put push and twist this way in through the different layers of the abdominal wall. So you can see exactly where you're going and it hopefully helps you avoid putting the trocar into any structures you don't want to damage. So here is a video um, of somebody using the OptiView technique or optical trocar technique. So as you can imagine, there's been a nick made in the skin already, and this is the tip or point end of the trocar we're looking through, and it's resting right now in the subcutaneous tissue. We keep going, we keep going through all the subcutaneous fat. Now we start to see the uh, white anterior rectus sheath, and then the pink slash red rectus abdominis muscle. We push through that, and then we start to see the posterior sheath right here. We get through that. You can see it splitting around. It's kind of pop all the way through till we're resting in the abdominal cavity. This tip is probably sitting in the omentum or some other sort of fatty structure in the abdomen right now. You can almost see it then pop through just that little bit more, and the uh, surgeon feels comfortable that this is in the abdominal cavity. So they feel uh, and they're going to pull this pointed end of the trocar out and start insufflating. So let's look at this in a bit more detail. So to review, um, this is our abdominal wall anatomy. When you're using the optical trocar technique, you're almost always focusing on this anatomy right here. You're pretty rarely going through the midline. And you're almost never lateral enough to be going through your um, oblique muscles. And so you're typically looking at this anatomy involving the rectus muscle and the anterior and posterior rectus sheets. We'll just focus on this section above the arcuate line for right now, because that's the most common spot used when you're using the optical trocar, usually talking about Palmer's point. So if you picture an abdomen here with the head up here, the feet down here, this is the line of the ribs. So Palmer's point is described as two finger breaths below the inferior costal margin. Uh, in the left to midclavicular line. This is a great spot to enter the abdomen because uh, underneath you just usually have momentum and stomach, no major vascular structures and uh, fairly forgiving bowel structure if you would happen uh, to contact it. So when we're looking at this, the parts you would be seeing with the trocar, the skin gets cut with the scalpel so you don't see that. You first start seeing the trocar in the subcutaneous space and you're going to see it progress through this anterior rectus sheath. This is white in the body, just like it shows on this illustration. Then you go into the red or pink muscle. Then you're going to hit the posterior rectus sheath right here. Um, this, I believe, is supposed to represent the transversus abdominis, or sorry, the transversalis fascia, I should say. Um, that's usually not seen too distinctly uh, in real life, so you'll usually pass through that without noticing it. Then there's this layer of Preperitoneal fat, and then finally the last layer before you get into the abdominal wall is the peritoneum. Although you don't always see all of these layers when we're actually going through. So keep this in mind, and now let's take another look at that video we just watched. All right, so here we are. We're in the yellow subcutaneous fat, right? This is mostly yellow here. You see a little bit of a blood vessel right there, but we're resting somewhere in here, working our way down. Continuing to work our way down. Now right here, you start to see this white layer on the outside. That's the splitting anterior rectus sheath. So we're right about here. And then you see this uh, red muscle showing up as the tip of the trocar extends down into the rectus abdominis. We keep going. Now you can pretty clearly see these are obvious big red muscle bellies that have started to split. 
the tips resting somewhere in here in the rectus abdominis. We're starting to get our first hints of the posterior, the white posterior fascia, the posterior rectus sheath right in here. Keep going, twisting. Now you see that a bit more distinctly. Again, we're resting mostly there in the posterior sheath. And then here we start seeing that sheath fully split and we're seeing what is probably actually intraperitoneal fat back here, probably in the omentum. Um, it's pretty rare that you see all these distinct layers once you get past the posterior rectus sheath. My suspicion is that because there's not really any strength in those layers, uh, is that as the trocar pushes through, it kind of separates this preperitoneal fat out to the side. So often you'll see anterior sheath, rectus muscle, posterior sheath, and then you'll just pop in through the peritoneum and be intraperitoneal as we're seeing in this video. So you see we pop in here, this is going to be omental or intraperitoneal fat. And the surgeon clearly agrees with that and they remove their optical part of their trocar and can start insufflating having safely entered the abdominal cavity. So now let's take another look at this. Uh, this view is useful because it's a view after a trocar has already been inserted. So you can see kind of those layers, especially in the uh, deeper aspect of the abdominal wall that don't show up so much as you're actually forcing your way through. But with the trocar in there, stenting it open, we can really get a good view of the posterior layers. So here we are again. This, you can see, is the yellow fatty layers of the subcutaneous tissue, right? So this level is Again, the trocar is essentially all the way in right now. We're just looking at each level on the side as we pass our camera into the abdomen. So we're moving forwards and you can see back here, there's actually peritoneum kind of overlaying the tip of the trocar that they're going to have to get the uh, instrument through at the very end. So we're moving down. You can see this is again, all subcutaneous tissue. We're starting to see a little bit of our anterior fascia coming in right here, this white circle. As we get closer, that becomes very obvious, right? So this is our anterior the sheath right here now that we've passed through the subcutaneous tissue and then we're seeing our red rectus muscle down here All right so now we're within the rectus muscle at about this level of the abdominal wall and then interestingly right here look at this thin white layer running just posterior to our rectus muscle and see that we're actually pretty far away still from peritoneum down there so this is going to be your posterior rectus sheath and then beyond that, we've got this fatty layer, and that's going to be your preperitoneal fat. Remember how we couldn't see that while we were actually placing the trocar, but we have a good view of that here once the layers aren't being compressed. And then what do we have left after that? We just have the peritoneum, which is this white tissue plane there that they're going to be pushing past pretty soon. They're down here, they're pushing on their trocar, and there it goes right in. Now it's appropriately placed, and they're going to pull everything out uh, and start insufflating. All right, so that's it. These videos are for educational purposes only. Do not use them to diagnose or treat any disease. This is not clinical advice, and we will see you next time.